Hello, I'm Lawrence Allen with another NFL News Update. So, just a few days after the NFL has officially allowed players to opt out of the 2020 season due to COVID concerns, many have already taken that list. Now, to get down to the gritty about the opt-out, it's simple. Anyone is free to decide not to play whether or not you're high risk or not. Players who opt out for the 2020 will receive salary advances because their contracts will be moved to 2021. They will basically shift one year. But some of that money will be like a stipend coming to the 2020 season. Basically, if you are a high-risk person, someone with breathing problems, uh, someone with um, an immunity issue, you will receive $350,000 out of your contract money of next year for this year. So if you make one million, if you're scheduled to make one million dollars this year on your contract, that contract is then moved back to 2021. You will get three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, but then next year you only get paid six hundred and fifty thousand of that one million because you were already paid three hundred and fifty thousand. Any of those who voluntarily opt out who are not high risk has the same thing happen, only instead of $350,000, it's $150,000. So, anyone who is not high risk, who just decides he does not want to play uh, because, you know, his health or the health of the community or family around him can still have his contract move back one year and get paid a small stipend out of that contract for this year. Now, let's go ahead and move on and see who actually has currently players that have decided to opt out. The Arizona Cardinals have had no one to date opt out, and neither has the Atlanta Falcons. However, the Baltimore Ravens have had offensive tackle Andre Smith and wide receiver DeAnthony Thomas decide to opt out. The Buffalo Bills have had defensive tackle star Lodolelli. Carolina Panthers have had linebacker Jordan Mack. The Cincinnati Bengals have no one so far. The Chicago Bears have had defensive tackle, tackle Eddie Goldman. The Cleveland Browns have yet to have anyone. The Dallas Cowboys have had wide receiver Stephen Guidry and cornerback Maurice Kennedy. Denver Broncos have defensive ta tackle Kyle Pecco, and the Detroit Lions have had no one to date. The Green Bay Packers just had Devin Funches announce that he will not be playing, that he has opted out. And the Houston Texans have had defensive tackle Eddie Vanderdust. The Indianapolis Colts have had no one to date. The Kansas City Chiefs have had Laurent Duvernay-Tardif, the guard. And the Las Vegas Raiders, Los Angeles Chargers, Los Angeles Rams, Jacksonville Jaguars, and the Miami Dolphins, none of those have yet had anyone announce that they wish to opt out. The Minnesota Vikings have had defensive tackle Michael Pierce. The New England Patriots have been slammed with names. Safety Patrick Chung. Linebacker Dante Hightower, running back Brandon Bolden, offensive tackle Marcus Cannon, fullback Danny Vitale, and offensive lineman Nanji Torin. All have decided to opt out for this 2020 season. The New Orleans Saints have had tied in Cole Wick and tied in Jason Vanderlaan. Now, that's interesting because that's two tied ins that have decided to opt out for one team. The Giants, no one. The Jets, Leo, offensive lineman, Leo Kolamatangi? I, if I chopped your name, I apologize. The Philadelphia Eagles, wide receiver, Marky Goldwyn. 
San Francisco 49ers have had no one so far. Seattle Seahawks guard Chance Vormick have, has decided not to play this season. Pittsburgh Steelers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers so far have had no one opt out. The Tennessee Titans have had offensive lineman Anthony McKinney. And the Washington football team have had defensive lineman Caleb Brantley decide to opt out. There is a free agent out there right now who has no contracts currently. Guard Larry Warford has decided he was going to opt out this season and not play in the 2020 season. Now, rumor has it, this is not official, but rumor has it that all players have until next Tuesday to decide to opt out. Tuesday, August 4th, or seven days after the CBA sent the letter out stating that the matter was finalized. Now, many teams, as I have already said, have had plenty of players decide to opt out, but some have had none. Indianapolis Colts GM Chris Ballard has stated that he has had no kind of talks from any of his players to himself stating that they were even thinking about opting out for this season. Now, that could change in the future being that they have until next Tuesday as more and more information comes out about how the NFL and the NFLPA decide they want to go about this 2020 season in protecting not only the players and coaches and staff members, but also the community and their families around them from the COVID virus. And until next time, I'm Lawrence Owen. Check me out, Colts Law. Have a good one. Just because a guy's a player's not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.